So here we have engine five, this is our en engine truck, mainly for fire suppression. And the officer side, we have a driver slash operator, and then we always have a firefighter riding back too as well. So I'm gonna switch it over to Brad Sweeney, and we're gonna go over all the different compartments that this truck has, and how we utilize it. Take it, Brad. So this truck is basically used for mostly uh, fire suppression. So we put out the fires, we have our hose up here that we were stretching inside for a house fire. We, sometimes we just use just, just a little bit of water, a little water can. We have lots of different tools. This is where the water comes into the truck and then the operator is gonna pump, pump the water out. Mm -hmm. We also run some EMS and some other type of calls. This right here is for, for swift water in case of for high uh, fast moving water. We have our throw bags and uh, life safety vests. We have some of our hand tools over here in this compartment up here. And we also run uh, car wrecks too. So we have stay dry, put down for any types of leaks or spills. We also have some saws and a generator with, with lights that we can use. Right here is our ladder truck. It's also a rescue truck. It responds to car wrecks. And Keith's gonna tell you a little bit about that and I'll All show you right. some more tools. So for our ladder truck, we use this uh, for extrication. So we have a bunch of tools as well. We have our saws. On the other side, we have our prime tools and like jaws of life all the hydraulic tools and all that. So our ladder is primarily used if we have to go up on a skyscraper. Ladder goes to 105 feet. So it's a really nice ladder that we have here. We also have our rip compartment. This is our rapid intervention crew. And this is used when, say it's a, a situation we have a firefighter down anytime in a mayday situation, anything of that sort. Of so, uh, this is a very essential equipment right here. So we'll come around the truck. As you can see right here, when we do raise the ladder, the operator will be standing right here and he's able to operate that entire ladder from right there too as well. So if he climbs to the tip, he can operate it as well. So for our smaller ladders, for our residential house fires, we use this. We have our, all of our different heights of ladders. And sometimes if you can't remember them, that's why we have them written down right here. You got your 20 foot, 28, 15 foot roof ladder, 28 foot section, and you got your big 40 foot section, which is pretty heavy. We also have our pike poles and everything too as well. So we close that down. We'll walk around this way. Like I said on our ladder truck, there's a ton of compartments. So the number one thing is know where everything is. So we usually test our rookies by coming around and we'll tell you, say, let me know what is in this compartment before you even open it. And that's just the way, repetition, to remember where it is. Because time counts, so every second counts. So you come this way. These are our extrication tools right here. And uh, these are gonna be on your car wrecks. So all these tools, we're able to actually, you know, pry and cut cars apart. So very powerful tools, something that you definitely need to respect too as well. So these are our hoses that actually connect to those and that connects to that generator too as well. So we have a portable and then we can also pull a hose off from the truck to go off the truck and power as well. So these are stabilizing jacks that we have here stabilize the vehicle that's one thing you want to do before you even start working on uh, education so this is our back cab compartment as you can see we do have four seats back here so we have a lot of room on the ladder truck in order to you know have more manpower then you have your officer seat right here too as well they have their computer you got gps system on there and i have a display from dispatch Tell them exactly you know what's going on with the call that we're going to and it also has uh, toggles right here for your uh, sirens and all of these seats they have scba packs connected to the back of them as well. all right and then we're going to make our way over to uh our meta truck so this truck right here runs the most calls uh out of the station and that's probably going to be any station for the city so this truck is a frequent flyer and as you can see we have the rainbow color this is uh, for autism awareness too as well we're highly big supporters of that 
Uh, we have different compartments on this truck. Not as many as your ladder trucks, but like I said, it's gonna be primarily EMS stuff. We have our oxygen tanks right there. We do have uh, an Axe and a Halligan, and also a extinguisher. So for the medic truck, you know, we're still firefighters at the same time. So, you know, we still carry our fire gear here on as well, just in case we roll up on the fire, we have to throw our stuff on and do a fire. So I'm gonna give it over to Brad right here. He's gonna take you through the rest All right, of the we have chair. more tools and more equipment. This right here is our backboards, stair chairs, seat collars for car wrecks and our PD mates so we can secure pediatrics to our stretcher. Uh, this is for stabilizing patients with uh, injuries. And then we have, this is our stretcher. It's uh, electric operated, as you see. And so we don't have to do much more lifting anymore. This rib bag right here is our, is our first in bag. This is what we take on, on all our calls and it has most of our uh, EMS equipment in it. And this is what we're gonna get you your, your vital signs and uh, blood pressure with and any other problems we encounter, we can take care of it this way. We are ALS crew, so we do some advanced life support. Uh, so we can do innovations, we can start IVs and give medications as well. And all that's up in here, we clean our cab out the regular and um, move around on this side over here. We have different access ports to come in here and through our side door. We also have a computer in the rear for writing reports and there's our monitor, cardiac monitor for recognizing uh, STEMIs. All right, so done with the medic truck, we're going to go way over to the, the battalion chief's truck. So this truck is equipped to be the incident commander on all fire teams and also, you know, car accidents too as well, anything like that. So, only the uh, battalion, uh, the chief is actually on this truck by itself. So, we'll come back to one of these apartments right here. And we have a multitude of amenities back here that we can actually pull out. It's actually a whiteboard that we pull out. And they'll have all your different divisions to be able to keep order once it's on the fire scene. Because once you're in a fire scene, everything's pretty hectic. So in order, you know, to keep some accountability, we have these accountability sheets too as well to know where everybody is. So this is our command board. So that way when we have a big incident, uh, the giant sheet can know where every unit is. We have all our tr trucks labeled and then we all have passports on uh, each apparatus as well so that way whoever is in charge uh, knows where each person is and in the incident in case someone needs more help or um, a mayday comes out. This is their command board. Titan Chief also has some other tools, more radios so that he can communicate. We do mutual aid with uh, Roanoke County and Salem uh, so we have extra radios so that way we can maintain communication.